How to store solar energy using gravity? Gravitricity has the answer. Welcome to a new episode of Green Up Tribe, your green energy channel. Renewable energy generation grows around the world as the need to store it. Perhaps gravitational potential energy is part of the solution. Gravitricity is a company based in Scotland whose objective is to develop an energy storage system using gravity. The principle is very simple. You have a weight attached to a wire rope system. The weight is raised when an electric motor powered by any energy source, preferably a renewable one like solar or wind. Once the weight is up, you can release the stored energy when needed. Most of the energy storage systems use battery banks or pumped hydropower which is also a system based in gravity. Some of the advantages over these systems are 1. You do not lose storage capacity with each cycle, like batteries, and 2. You do not need extensive terrains, like pumped hydropower. So, to have a better understanding of this system and find it out if it is possible to power an entire home with this, I built a functional scale model. Of course, due to the mobility restrictions around the world, had to use only what I have here. Luckily, I have my 3D printer and a solar panel, which helps a lot. The main restriction is the space. If we take a look at the gravitational potential energy equation, we can see that it depends on mass, gravity, and height. Gravity is constant, at least here on Earth, so we can have the same amount of energy with a small mass and a big height, or a big mass and a small height. Due to the lack of space, we need a big mass, and to take it up, we need torque. To transform the motor's high rotational speed to high torque, we need a gearbox. This is the prototype. Here is the mass to be lifted, the total height, the electric motor and its gearbox, a curtain joint that I had to install due to misalignment issues in the transmission, the pulley, the generator's curtain joint, and the generator with its transmission. With this design, I cannot use the same motor as a generator as the gravitricity system does because of the gearbox, so I installed a small alternator at the other end of the pulley. The system has two energy sources, a connection to the solar panel to make it work as it should in normal conditions, and a grid tie source to test the system when steady energy flow is required. Once the prototype was installed, it was time for testing. In general, it works very well connected to the grid or the solar panel. The maximum weight used is 2 kg. Even when the motor and the gearbox can't withstand more, with this weight problems started to show. So we can say that this is the limit for this design, and for this reason the system storage capacity is 15 joules and reaches 0.2 watts of input power when the sun is shining. Well, actually it's around 80% of the solar panel capacity due to the unavoidable shadows inside home. At the end, would it be possible to use a similar system to power your home? Hardly. Even though this is a very simple system, the energy density is just too low. To give you an example, a friend of mine bought a property to build his house and found out that it includes a 50 meter deep, 0.7 meter in diameter, out of service water wheel. And he doesn't know what to do with it. If he would like to use it to build a gravitricity system, he would need to use an 8 tons weight to replace a small off-grid solar system with a lead battery with 0.8 kilowatt hour of storage capacity, more or less like a battery of the size of your car. And it would be useful to light some light bulbs. If he would like to use it and power his entire house, he needs a 30 ton weight and make two more holes with the same dimensions and use the same weight. That would be enough to store around 200 kilowatt hour of energy per month. However, Gravitricity initially wants to use hundreds of abandoned coal mines with already existing vertical shafts that sometimes reach 1 km deep, achieving around 1 gigawatt hour of energy storage capacity. At these scales, costs would be competitive and it would last around 50 years, something that batteries cannot do. 
That's all for now. If you want to know more about Graphicity, I'll leave some links in the description. Push the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next episode of Green Love Cry, your green energy channel. Bye.